Hey, how's everyone doing today? It's Heisenberg here. Today I thought I would show you guys how to install KEMB Pure Light because that seems to be a pretty popular one. Um, I've gotten a couple of requests to show how to install this EMB in particular. Um, so before we even get started, this EMB in particular, regardless of what version you're using, whether it would be the extreme version, the performance version, or the quality version, it is a very hard hitter as far as your frames per second, so before you even start installing this, I would recommend that you go in-game and save somewhere indoors. I would highly recommend places like Riverwood Trader or um, Breeze Home, basically places indoors that don't have a lot of activity. Um, personally, I already saved my game inside of Breeze Home, so um, once you do that, um, I guess you can go ahead and head on over to the KMB Pure Light page. I will provide a link for you in the description down below, so you can go ahead and click on that if you're not already there. And um, basically, it it says it uses the 265 binary, but um, about a week and a half ago, the 266 binary was just released. So. If you don't already have the two the 266 or the 265 binary installed, you're only going to be able to use the 260 the 266 binary. So um, I guess you could use the 266 binary. So go ahead and right click on the link and click Open Link in New Tab, and it'll bring you to the EMB Dev page. Click News, click Download, and then click TES Skyrim, and then click this right here and then scroll all the way to the bottom and then click the download arrow and you should get a pop-up like this when it's done downloading and you're gonna need WinRAR or 7-zip to get this to work I'm obviously using WinRAR so go ahead and hit backspace and then drag and drop it onto your desktop but I already have one right here so I'm just gonna delete it and then um you can X out of the EMB dev page because you're not going to need it and then scroll up to the top of the page and click the files tab and then under the main file section you're going to see three different presets you're going to see the extreme version which I would not play in game with it because it's mainly for like screenshots and stuff and then you have the performance version which is for like it basically just tells you what it's used for right here I'm going to be using the quality version because the extreme version I get like 15 frames per second and I have a GTX 780 so yeah so go ahead and download it manually whatever one you're deciding to use my internet is really slow right now so I'm gonna cancel it because I already have one installed so once your thing is done installing you hit backspace just like we did the binary and then drag and drop it onto your desktop and then you're going to be left with these two folders or these two archives right here um this step is completely optional so you don't have to do it if you don't want but I highly recommend it so click on the binary right click it and click extract to EMB series Skyrim 265 and it's going to make it into a folder and then do the same thing for the EMB archive right click it and then you can delete the archives if you decided to do that and then now you're going to locate your Skyrim folder just right click it if you have an icon on your desktop and click open file location basically where Skyrim launcher and TESV are located that's your Skyrim folder just make sure you're not in your data folder So basically just scroll down to the to the installation part of the of the page and then open up the EMB the K EMB folder. And then um 
these mo this MindFlux folder is basically mods that the EMB highly recommends you download. Um, all you would do is just drag and drop the mods onto your desktop and then open up your mod manager and click this button here and then just click the mod and click open and it'll it'll just download it like the same as if you click download with manager but I already have all these installed so I'm not going to do that so you would just click this middle folder here and all you would do is just copy and paste everything in this folder and then paste it into your Skyrim folder and uh, if you wanted to you could read this readme right here but um you really don't have to because I'm pretty much showing you everything you have to do. And then um, now you can open up the EMB series binary folder and you're going to click the wrapper version. Um, if for any reason you have problems with the wrapper version folder, you can use the injector version, but I don't know how to do the injector version installations. So go ahead and open up the wrapper version folder and copy only the d3d9.dll file and then paste it in your Skyrim folder. The EMB itself already came with the EMB host.exe file, so you're not going to need to copy it from here. And then you can close out of it, and you can delete both of these files because we're pretty much done installing the EMB now. We just have to tweak a couple settings in our files. So now we're going to locate our Skyrim prefs.inies, which is in, um, you can get to it from the Skyrim folder. You just click My Documents my games and then Skyrim and then you'll see Skyrim.any and Skyrimprefs.any but if you don't see the dot any there it's not a big deal don't worry about that it's it's the same thing your operating system just doesn't reveal the file extensions so go ahead and open up your Skyrimprefs.any and the first setting we have to tweak is B float point render target so go ahead and copy that control C to copy it and then control F to find it and control V to paste it and mine already equals one. This is a really important setting. If you don't set it to one, half of your screen will be black. So make sure, just make sure that all these settings are correct because the EMB won't work as intended. So the next one, Control C, Control F, and then Control V. And again, mine are, that already equals one. So the next one, Control C, Control F, and Control V. And then the last one. <laughs> now as you can see, for some reason mine has two of them. So um, I'm going to go ahead and delete one of them. I must have missed that when I, when I was uh, editing my innies a different time. So um, unlike other EMBs, or if you had to edit anything, go up to File and Save, or you can do Control S, it's the same thing. Um, it says set your resolution in the files right here, and it tells you the files you have to edit. Um, if you're playing at 1080p, you don't have to edit these, because the default is set to 1080p, but um, if you're not playing on 1080p, I'll still show you how to edit it, because it can be kind of confusing. So it says this file here, and you would right-click it, and you would click Edit. Or just make sure you don't click Open, because you'll get a, win a, 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 blah, 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 a window like this. You, If you didn't have Notepad++, you would, um, pretty sure you would just be able to click Edit. But, um, you could highlight, it says in both where you'll spot, and you could just, highlight this and go control C and then control F and control V and it'll find it for you right here and then um yeah just do that for both of these and then um the EMB sunsprite.fx you would do the same thing that I just showed you find it in your Skyrim folder if I can find it EMB sunsprite.fx Control C Control F Control V and then you would just edit that to your resolution and then you would just save it and then um 
I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video, but make sure your monitor is calibrated because this EMB is, um, I don't really know how to explain it, but, um, it just has a whole bunch of different light sources going on, and if, if your monitor wasn't calibrated, it, it would not look like it's supposed to look. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in game and show you guys what this EMB looks like. It's a pretty easy installation, but, um, it can be a little confusing. Hey guys, so real quick, real quick before we go in game, um, I'm going to show you how to edit your EMB local that any real quick. You can find the setting in your Skyrim folder where we copy and pasted all the EMB files. So once you find the EMB local dot any file or if it just says EMB local, it's the same thing. Right click it or you can just open it. And um the two settings where it says video memory size MB and reserved memory size MB. Um Basically, video memory size MB is how much VRAM your uh, system has, and I have 3 gigabytes, so I'm going to do 3072, and then reserved memory size MB, I'm going to, I always use 512 for mine, and it has all these different um, numbers that you can use down here, and then for the VRAM, it has all the different numbers down here, but if you don't know what any of these mean, I would highly recommend Googling it first, because, um, it's very important to get these to match what your system is because the EMB will run a lot better. So once you tweak these two settings, you can go ahead and go up to File and Save or you can just hit Control S and it'll do the same thing. And uh, I'm not sure if this EMB tells you to disable anti-aliasing, but I'm pretty much going to look at on the page real quick while we're here. Alright, so this EMB doesn't tell you that you have to disable anti-aliasing. Oh yeah, it does. Real quick, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Go back to your Skyrim folder and go down to the Skyrim launcher and open it. And then click Options. And then you're going to get this little window right here. Just make sure anti-aliasing is set to off. And then make sure that AF is set to off as well. And then when you're done that, just click OK. And then you're pretty much good to go if you followed the rest of my video. So... Um, sorry for leaving that out. I'm going to go ahead and put this clip in the video somewhere so people don't get confused. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and go in game now so you guys can see what it looks like. Alright guys, so uh, once you get a message in the top left hand corner, that pretty much tells you that you installed your binary files correctly, so that's a pretty good sign. If you press shift enter, it'll bring up this menu right here, and you can tweak the EMB further through here if you had to do like any performance options. Press shift enter to exit the menu, and if you press the star key on your number pad, it'll bring up your frames per second. But for some reason mine isn't popping up right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and load up my game. And like I said, make sure you're somewhere indoors. Otherwise, it's possible that you might crash. Okay, yeah, there goes my uh, frames per second thingy. So that's a really cool feature for uh, EMB series. But uh, as you can tell in the top right-hand corner, I'm using fraps. So, so yeah, guys, I'm in game. And um, Shift F12 puts it back to vanilla Skyrim. So as you can see, KMB is definitely working. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go outdoors just to show you guys what it looks like outdoors. And this is the quality version. And as you can see, indoors, I was only getting like 30 frames per second. And I have a GTX 780. All right, so as you can see, um, this is what KEMB looks like. This is definitely one of my favorite EMBs of all time. Um, it's really it's really different. It's unlike any EMB I've ever used or seen before. Um, but yeah, um, I wouldn't really recommend using the extreme version unless you wanted to use it for screenshots. But um, 
Like, look, even my wind is lagging. Like, I never have problems like that. So that just goes to show you how much of a heavy hitter this one is. But, um, yeah, guys, that's how you download and install KEMB Pure Light. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe if this video helped you. Um, or you can dislike it if you didn't like it. Um, I really don't care. Um, but yeah, um, if you have any questions or if something went wrong for you, go ahead and send me a message or leave me a comment and I'll, I'll definitely try and help you in the best way that I can. So, here you go guys. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you in the next video.